हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द चैनल सो हेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन टोटल मैथ पास थ्री टास्क सो यू आर गिवन एन एरे ए वन टू ए एन इन वन मूव यू कैन परफॉर्म ईदर ऑफ द फॉलोइंग टू ऑपरेशन यू कैन परफॉर्म एनी नंबर ऑफ मूव्स चूज एन एलिमेंट फ्रॉम द एरे एंड रिमूव इट फ्रॉम द एरे एज अ रिजल्ट द लेंथ ऑफ द एरे डिक्रीजेज बाई वन एल्स चूज एन एलिमेंट फ्रॉम द एरे एंड डिक्री इंक्रीज इट्स वैल्यू बाई वन If current array becomes empty, then no more moves can be made. Our task is to find the minimum number of moves required to make the sum of elements of array A divisible by three. It is possible that you may need zero moves. So sum is always equal to zero for an empty array. Now, for the test cases here. First, we take the test case of two two five four. So, in case of two two five four, what will be the sum? Five plus two seven, seven plus two nine, and nine four thirteen. So, we have here thirteen. Now, if you divide this sum. Or take the remainder of this sum by three. So what it will give? One. So here the remainder is one. Now what you can do? You can remove this element. As we know. Five plus two plus two is nine, which is fully divisible by three, and hence our output is one in this case. For the second case, which we have, we have one three two, so adding it becomes six, and remainder becomes zero. In next case, also the remainder became zero, as if you sum, it will be completely divisible by three. For one, as you have single element, you can remove that element, and zero will be there, which is divisible. So now, in case of two, two, four, two, you can add all of them. So four, two, six, six, two, eight, and ten. So it gives us ten. Now, what are the possibilities? either you can remove an element or you can add one to the element so from here what we can do is we have two choices either we can add one one to each of the element or else what you can do remove four from this so if you remove four from this this would turn out to be six which will be divisible by three hence Output is one. Now, in case of five five, if you take five and five as both are equal, and it sums up to ten, so we do not have any other solution than adding one to both of them. So, adding two to the sum, which would divide. So the answer is two here. so hence the intuition might be clear now what we are trying to do we are first getting the remainder and based on it we are giving our output so to remove the element or not for this thing we need to check whether an element is completely divisible by 3 or not so suppose i take 2 2 5 4 so 2 modulus 3 Gives the remainder two. Now what I will do? I will take store it in a map. So mapping two to its value, which is one, and then take the remainder of this, which is two modulus three, and store it in suppose R one. So my R one is. now 
if i subtract this remainder from the sum of the element so the sum of the elements was 13 if i do 13 minus 2 it would give me 11 which is not the solution because it's not divided by 3 hence it is of no use to remove 2 now again we check so again we get 2 so we do not need to check here the same condition and this is updated as 3 now we go to 5 for 5 also the same thing and then for 4 now as soon as you go to 4 our 4 mod modulus 3 so my 4 modulus 3 becomes 1 13 minus 1 becomes 12 12 is divisible by 3 hence what we do here is we update the answer to 1 so if i am getting some minus r1 divisible by 3 so i am getting this answer as 1 so i have returned the answer 1 now let's take in this case 5 5 so what we have here my s is 10 so let's write s r1 so my s is 10 here and my r1 is 5 modulus 3 so 5 modulus 3 gives me 2 and here i will calculate r also so it will be r sum modulus 3 so sum modulus 3 would be 1 now if i subtract this it will give me 8 which is also not divisible by 3 so next i will check for r so if r is 1 i will return 2 as we need minimum two operations so the two operations might be adding one to each element or else removing both the elements so if you remove both the elements it will become empty array hence it will become divisible so you can choose both the ways so i hope you all understand this solution now let's look at the code so yeah this is the code so what we are doing is taking the element a adding it in the map and if a modulus 3 is 1 which means the element if any element is not divisible by 3 and remainder is 1 so we keep here the remainder if the remainder is 2 we keep and then calculate sum now remainder is sum modulus 3 and if sum minus remainder 1 which means if we remove that element which is giving us remainder 1 is divisible by 3 this whole thing is divisible by 3 so that means a can be removed or if this is also divisible by 3 then means a can be removed so in that case our answer is 1 now if we have remainder equal to 1 then our answer will be 2 and we know that if remainder is 0 our answer is simply 0 so this is the solution to the problem and we can write this for t test cases so i hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching